Hello everyone, um, this is my first upload, so if it's not the greatest video, I apologize in advance. Um, but what I have today is an unboxing of a sealed first edition jungle um, English uh, Pokemon trading card box. So this should have um, 36 booster packs inside of it. And this is the first time I've ever um, been lucky enough to be able to open a sealed booster box. I always wanted to open one of these as a kid, but didn't have the money for it. So now as an adult, I actually have a little bit of extra spending cash. So I treated myself to um, the Jungle Set First Edition. So um, we're going to go through here and see if I get a little bit lucky. Maybe pull out um, a complete set, but we'll see what happens. So um, I don't know how many, how familiar you might be with the Jungle Set, but um, there are, it's a pretty small set, I think it's only around 64 cards, and um, there are duplicates of, there are rare and uh, are holo and non-holographic versions of many of the rare cards. And one of the things I like about this set is that there's only one trainer card, and that's Pokeball. And um, so for the most part, I should be pulling uh, just Pokemon. So that's um, kind of a nice benefit of the jungle pack. And to start things off, I'll show you the three different uh, designs for the booster packs. This is a Scyther, um, Flareon, and Wigglytuff. So you can maybe see the back of the pack here. And um, hopefully they should all have the first edition symbol on here for all 36 packs. And each pack ca uh, contains 11 cards. And so um, I've seen this trend in a lot of other videos where people open these booster boxes and they set one um, complete set of three packs to the side. So I'm going to follow that trend and put all three of these to the side um, for the future. And I'm not sure maybe I'll open them later on or um, maybe I'll just keep them. Um, so let's uh, give this a shot. First pack, Flareon. And of course, um, as always, you're hoping for a holographic card. But um, I have very few jungle cards, so I'm pretty uh, uh, willing to get about anything at this point. Now, I don't quite know the order of the cards here. Um, I think the rare will be the third card in, but I'm not totally sure, so I'm just going to give it a shot and we'll adjust for the rest of the packs. Okay, so first card is a Cubone, a Rhyhorn, a Nidoran Female, a Goldeen, Jigglypuff, Oddish, Mankey, Marowak, Taros, Butterfree, and my first uh, rare is a Victory Bell, non-holographic. Okay, so um, I guess I got the order right. So this is going to be... Um, kind of a long video because there's so many packs that I'll be opening. I guess about 33 packs if I set three to the side. So I'm going to try to keep the pace going pretty quickly. Um, and like I said, I'm looking for holographics or um, some jungle packs have some misprints. So I always uh, enjoy misprint cards, so I'm going to keep an eye out for those also as best I can. Uh, Paris. Cubone. Venonet, Jigglypuff, Eevee, Nidoran Female, Sparrow, Parasect, Rapidash, Primeape, and Venomoth Rare Non-Holographic. 
so we're two packs in and no holographics yet. So we'll see what happens. These cards look to be in pretty good condition, which, you know, you would expect from a sealed booster box. But sometimes they kind of get a little jostled around. So uh, I'll talk more about that in a moment. Cubone. Meowth. Bellsprout. Sparrow. Eevee. Pikachu. Goldeen. Pharaoh. Nidorina. Primate. And a non-holographic Wigglytuff. So I'm 0 for 3 on holographic so far. Uh, so, like I was saying, sometimes um, I've heard that when you get these sealed packs, you, based on uh, being shipped and jostled around and handled, and these packs are, you know, over 10 years old, even if they were sealed, um, they can have some deterioration or damage just from handling. So you're kind of always um, crossing your fingers that the box you get hasn't been too beat up. And thankfully, this booster box was in pretty good condition. Jigglypuff, Nidoran Female, Bellsprout, Paris, uh, Pokeball, so this is the one trainer card in the set, Sparrow, Meowth, Electrode, Rare, and if I remember right, this is a misprint card. I think this is the base set graphic. I'll have to double check this. I think this is a misprint, but I'll need to double check. And I forgot to rearrange these cards. Uh, Rapidash, Weeping Bell, and Lickitung. So that electrode was the rare. And I can't quite remember what the image is for that. If I may, that might actually be the correct image, but um, I'll double check before I do anything with any of these cards. I kind of butchered this package. So in case anyone's wondering, I actually got this pack on eBay. Um, and they're fairly expensive, th these booster boxes, unfortunately. Uh, so, uh, Pikachu. Oh, hold on. So, if anyone's counting, it's four packs without a holographic so far. Okay, Pikachu. Goldeen. Venonet. Nidoran Female, Mankey, Execute, Jigglypuff, Executor, Primate, Persian, and Vaporeon Holographic. So this is my first holographic card of the pack. And um, Vaporeon's a pretty nice card, can't really complain. It's sort of hard to tell on the photo probably, or in the video, but right uh, here is sort of a misprint on the holographic. It's sort of a circle where there's not really a proper shiny part, so kind of interesting. And I've got, um, thankfully, some penny sleeves right on hand that I'm going to slide these into any of the holographics I get as soon as I pull them out, just to keep them a little bit extra protected. Um, so like I said, I got this on eBay, and um, you know, not necessarily the best price in the world or anything, but um, as I mentioned earlier, I've got a job now, I'm able to afford a little bit of um, fun money once in a while, so I felt this would be a fun way to spend some cash. Okay, Venonet, Pokeball, Eevee, Bellsprout, Goldeen, Meowth, Mankey, Taros, Firo, Rhydon, and a Snorlax holographic. So I've always uh, really liked Snorlax as a Pokemon and this card. Um, so this is kind of a fun card for me to get. I do notice that on this card, it might be hard to see it, but some of the edge is sort of uh, a little bit not torn up. You can sort of see some of the shininess of it. So not quite the best condition possible, but overall pretty good. And for the most part, um, I don't really have anything in mind specifically with these cards. I don't really, I used to play the card game quite a bit. Two, three. Uh, but, um, well, just looking at this card real quick, this is the rare in this set. You can see 
some damage on the edge there and a little bit it's hard to see it here and again on that corner so not uh, the best of shape on that card so we'll see what that is uh, Goldine, Pikachu, Oddish, Pokeball, Eevee, Execute, Cubone, Rhydon, Seeking, Gloom, and a second Hollow Snorlax. So there's back to back, uh, I guess three holographics in a row, and uh, two of them are Snorlax. So that's kind of cool. Um, but like I was saying, I don't have anything specific in mind for these cards. Uh, I used to play the game, but don't play anymore. And I've actually been in the process of selling off a lot of my old cards. Um, but along the way, I guess nostalgia kind of hit me, and I decided to end up buying a few more back, so kind of failing and getting rid of some of these old ones. Um, I am considering taking a few of these cards and maybe having them graded through... Um, uh, what is it? Professional Sports Authority, PSA. So, Pikachu, Venonet, Pokeball, Eevee, Bellsprout, Goldeen, Meowth, Dodrio, Weeping Bell, Rhydon, and Kangaskhan. And I've never noticed this before, but the uh, image in the background there is kind of pixelated looking. I've never had a non-holographic Kangaskhan, so it was hard for me to tell if that's how it's supposed to be. Um, kind of interesting. So, um, I may get a few of these if there's a few rare cards in here that are in a very good condition. I may send a few off to get graded through uh, Professional Sports Authority or PSA. I know some other people on uh, some other, I don't know, you call them Poketubers or whatever, um, also like to do that. Um, I'm Like I said, I'm not a huge collector though, so maybe a couple of cards I'll do that to keep for myself, just for the fun of it, and the rest maybe I'll resell on eBay or something. So, Goldeen, Pokeball, Oddish, Nidoran Female, Bellsprout, Execute, Mankey, Nidorina, Dodrio, Gloom, and a Pidgeot um, non-holographic. And so, uh, the, some of these I may resell on eBay. Um, I haven't really decided yet if it's worth the time of uh, bothering trying to get them graded and then selling them. Um, I may just sell these as some sort of a bulk collection. Uh, but if anyone has any ideas, feel free to comment and let me know what you think. What's the best way to handle these cards at this point? So. I can't see this card, but just from feeling it, it has a slight bow in it. I'm going to guess this one is a holographic. I notice with some of these older cards, they tend to bend a little bit more than the newer sets of Pokemon cards when they're holographic. Mankey, Pokeball, Paras, Sparrow, Goldeen, Pikachu, Bellsprout, Executor, Tauros, Rhydon, and Holographic Mr. Mime. So like I said, you can kind of feel the texture of these cards a little bit um, when you pull them out. They're a little bit maybe heavier or have a bit of a bend in them. Okay, let's see what this uh, Wigglytuff pack has in store for us. And so, um, I kind of think it's strange that people do these unboxing videos like this <clears throat> and share it on YouTube. Uh, I only really found out about it more recently, but I ended up uh, finding it kind of just relaxing, just watching what other people are pulling out of their packs, and um, just hearing, uh, just seeing the cards. So I thought I would join in and do my own video. Goldeen, Execute, Cubone, Mankey, Pikachu, Venonet, Eevee, Marowak, Gloom, Rhydon, and a non-holographic Mr. Mime. And so, uh, like I said, I think it's kind of a strange thing people do this, but I um, I guess I see some videos have quite a few views, so maybe it's actually has some audience. And like I said, I enjoyed watching a few of these videos myself. Um, I think the first video I ever saw was from um, a YouTube member named uh, like Silver Snorlax. 
And so um, he was sort of, I guess you would say, my inspiration for deciding to follow up with some videos like this. Okay, Oddish, Execute, Rhyhorn, Cubone, Nidoran Female, Sparrow, Pikachu, Rapidash, Parasect, Gloom, and Electrode. So, like I said, this is the same card where I thought that it might be a misprint on the artwork, but again, I'll have to double check on that. And so, um, yeah, so like I said, Silver Snorlax uploaded some of those videos, and I guess he still updates pretty often, and they're kind of fun to watch. Uh, you should check out his channel, I'll link it in my description. But, um, uh, so what was I saying? So, I'll have a few more videos up over time. I'm not going to make this a big uh, commitment. Uh, like some of these guys do quite a few videos, but I'll have a few up. And, um, yeah. So, this pack, uh, Spiro, Cubone, Rhyhorn, Nidoran Female, Goldeen, Jigglypuff, Oddish, Nidorina, Rapidash, Rhydon, and a Holographic Jolteon. So, kind of a fun card. I do like the EV Evolutions, I think this is the first set where they were appeared in, so um, they're always kind of cool when I was a kid, I enjoyed uh, the few I had of the Jungle set. And so, um, the next few videos I may upload, I have a couple sets of cards I did send away for PSA. And these are cards I had from my personal collection from when I was a kid, actually. And I actually, thankfully, I was pretty good with my cards as a kid and kept some in pretty nice condition. So, um, since, like I said, I was kind of going through and clearing out a lot of my old cards I um, for sale, I decided to grade a few of them and see if I can get a little bit more value for them. Paris, Execute, Eevee, Venonet, Cubone, Oddish, Mankey, Primate, Dodrio. Dodrio has kind of a cool Pokemon power. Um, he actually just lowers the retreat cost of other Pokemon in play. So I kind of, I think I used them a couple times in some decks for fun as a kid, and so I kind of like this card. Uh, Executor, and a Holographic Victory Bell. And now you probably have noticed that these cards have the um, old-fashioned, I guess you'd call it, um, holographic design. So they use like these little stars, sort of, instead of um, the more swirls or Cosmo designs from some of the newer sets. Uh, so, the other videos that I'll be uploading, I should have at least one, if not two more videos um, with PSA card returns. And then... Um, and I think I have about 30 cards total between those, so um, quite a few cards there. And some of them I wasn't so sure on if they were that great of quality uh, condition, but I decided to give it a shot anyway. So we'll see how those turn out. PSA has been taking a little while in getting them back. So let's see, Oddish. Cubone. Meowth. Bellsprout. Spiro. Eevee. Pikachu, Rhydon, Butterfree, Weeping Bell, and a non-holographic pincer. Uh, so, yeah, so the card they sent to PSA, um, they said it was a 10 business day turnaround time from the time they received them. And they've had them now for, they claimed that they have had the cards um, for going on 14 business days. And they uh, actually charged my credit card um, 16 or 17 business days ago. And counting weekends, it's been closer to like 24 or 25 um, days. So this is my first time ever dealing with PSA. And it seems like their work is pretty solid, but their turnaround time is very slow in my opinion. Uh, Nighter and female. Execute. Meowth. Eevee, Pokeball, Pikachu, Sparrow, Persian, Lickitung, 
Rhyhorn, and Nido Queen Rare. So, um, besides the PSA video, um, I don't really have anything else planned at the moment. Um, like I said, I'm not really doing this full time, but just once in a while I might upload a small video here or there. Um, I sometimes may go to garage sales and if I see anything worthwhile, maybe I'll get lucky and pick up some cards. I might uh, do a little video of my haul, but so far I haven't really bothered to do any of that. Rhyhorn, Venonet, Bellsprout, Sparrow, Meow, Mankey, Goldeen, Sea King, Marowak, Primate, and a non-holographic Vaporeon. So just a quick count, so far on holographics I'm sitting at um, six holographic cards and then I have, uh, but in total I have opened uh, 17 packs and six holographics. So if I remember right, um, the ratio is usually about one in every three packs of holographic. So I'm pretty much uh, on par with that at the moment. I'd like to have that luck turn around a little bit, get a bit higher, get a little bit better, a few more hollows, but that's okay. Okay. Mankey. Goldeen. Pikachu. Oddish. Pokeball. Eevee, Execute, Gloom, Butterfree, Nidorina, and a Jolteon uh, non-holographic. Okay, so I think that's six hollows and 18 packs now. So exactly the uh, one to three ratio. So maybe I'm about due for another holographic, we'll see. I've heard of, um, oh, hold on a sec, let me get through this pack. So, Bellsprout. My stack of commons and uncommons getting a little bit large over there. Uh, Venonet. Execute. Pokeball. Rhyhorn. Jigglypuff, Oddish, Taros, Rapidash, Executor, and back-to-back -back Jolteon Rare Non-Holos. Okay, I'm getting a little bit over, about halfway through the box now. So we'll see what the second half of this box has for us. Okay. Jigglypuff. Oddish. Cubone. Meowth. Bellsprout. Pharaoh. Or, sorry. Spiro. Eevee. Taros. There's the Pharaoh. Nidorina. And a non holographic Kangaskhan. Okay. So our next pack, and we're getting down to maybe about four or five left. Uh, Wigglytuff. So um, not quite as many hollows as I would have liked, but like I said, it's about one in three packs uh, has a holographic. So not totally surprised by these odds. Okay, so here we go. Paris, Goldeen, Pokeball, Oddish, Nataran Female, Bellsprout, Execute, Butterfree, Parasect, Executor, and a Holographic Flareon. So that's um, my first Holographic Flareon, and it's actually... Um, I don't think I ever had a Flareon as a kid, so it's kind of a cool card to me. I like the artwork, and um, it has sort of a rainbow pattern 
you can maybe see on the background. So, a uh, pretty cool card, and it looks like, like I said, some of these holographics, I was noticing a little bit of, um, I might appear to see on the camera, but a little bit of edge wear it almost looks like, but it's actually just sort of the shininess, uh, it looks like uh, the holographic kind of is showing on the edge a little bit, so I'm not really sure if that's just common in older cards, um, but not quite, uh, as a PSA, the top rating is a 10 gem mint 10. So I don't know if this would be quite fall into that category. It might just be a maybe a mint 9. Okay. But ultimately, like I said, I'm not really a big collector and I'm not really a big reseller. I don't really have any specific place in, um, I guess you'd say, in the Pokemon trading world. I don't really play the game much either, so um, kind of just opening these packs for fun. And then anything else that comes from it is just an added bonus. Okay. So, Oddish, Bellsprout, Meowth, Pokeball, Rhyhorn, Gouldine, Execute, Pharaoh, Executor, Persian, and uh, Non-Holographic Scyther. So this is actually my probably most played card as a kid from the Jungle Pack, our Jungle Set. So I really kind of like to get <coughs> a Holographic Scyther. Um, because I don't know how many of you ever played back when it was just base set in jungle, but Scyther was um, a really popular card in a potpourri deck. So it was just a deck filled with lots of, um, at the time, high hit point base set base Pokemon. So, you know, 60, 70, 80 hit points was a lot for a base Pokemon back then, basic Pokemon. And Scyther was one of the best ones because it also had uh, no retreat cost. So, Paris. Rhyhorn, Venonet, Bellsprout, Spiro, Meowth, Mankey, Lickitung, Marowak, <coughs> Pharaoh, and a holographic Wigglytuff. So, um, like I was saying, uh, Scyther is one of like the staple cards for a potpourri deck because it was a 70 hit point basic Pokemon. Um, you could do, with a double colorless energy, you could do 60 damage on the second turn, and it had no retreat cost. So, it's a very good card. And I only had, I think, um, I actually, I think one of the decks I played with had four Scythers in it, but they were all non holographic, because at the time I would just trade for whatever the cheapest card was for playing. I didn't really care about collecting or anything like that. So, holographics didn't mean anything to me. But uh, let's see what this uh, pack has for us. Okay, Venonet, Rhyhorn, Pikachu. Oh, and so earlier I was mentioning the number of cards in the set. I'm not sure I can get this to show up. Yeah, so 64 cards in the set. And uh, so it's a pretty small set, Mankey. And because of that, you'll get lots and lots of duplicates, obviously. Jigglypuff, Spiro, Paras. Parasect, Sea King, Primeape, and Non-Holographic Kangaskhan. And so, I assume at this point I've definitely covered all of the um, commons and uncommons, and the one trainer card is a Pokeball. So, of course, now I'm just hoping I get a little bit luckier and can pick up a few more of the holographic uh, cards, holographic rares that I haven't gotten, and I'm pretty sure I'm still missing at least a few of the rares non-holographic. So, um, I don't quite have this set count, um, the set list on hand, so I'm not totally sure, but I'm pretty positive I'm still missing some of the non-holographics. Okay, Goldeen, Oddish, Execute, Rhyhorn, Cubone, Nidoran Female, Spiro, Taros, Butterfree, Executor, and a non-holographic Snorlax. So 
I think that was one of the non-holographic rares I was missing. Um, so, uh, like I was saying earlier, I'll do some other videos over time. Not, a, not too often, once in a while I will. So feel free, if you'd like, to subscribe or comment. Um, definitely let me know how this video goes for you, if you think I can do something better or worse. Oh, I don't really care if I can do it worse. If I can do it better, let me know, because uh, I definitely want to make these kind of fun for you guys to watch. And so, yeah, just definitely leave a comment. Let me know if there's something um, I could do a little bit better. Maybe I can uh, change the background up back there. I've got Optimus Prime hanging out in the corner over there. So, Nighter and Female, Sparrow, Oddish, Bellsprout, Meowth, Pokeball, Rhyhorn, Lickitung, Sea King, Nidorina, and a non-holographic Scyther. So it's definitely at least my second one of those. Okay, so Jigglypuff, Paris, Execute, Eevee, Venonet, Cubone, Oddish, Marowak, Dodrio, Lickitung, and a non holographic Venomoth. Okay, and I'm down to what I think, oh actually, I've got about, oh, maybe six packs left, so definitely um, underestimated how many I had left a few minutes ago. Okay. So, I don't know for this one, but I, like I said earlier, I kind of can get a feel at this point for what cards are going to be holographic or not, what packs, and I think this is a holographic in here, but let's see. Okay, Jigglypuff, Nidoran Female, Execute, Meowth, Eevee, Pokeball, Pikachu, Lickitung, Primeape, Pharaoh, and a holographic electrode. So this is definitely, um, earlier I mentioned uh, these electrodes having the wrong graphic, and I think I was definitely right. This is the one I was thinking of as the um, proper um, jungle graphic. So uh, this is the holographic, and this is the base set electrode artwork, but it was a misprint and was placed on uh, some of the jungle um, cards. And I don't know if that's all of the first edition jungle cards have the wrong electrode artwork, but um, at least the two that I have in this set definitely are the wrong ones. So I'll have to look into that later and see if that's very rare. I don't think that's a very rare mistake, actually. I think you can see quite a few of those cards on eBay. Um, I think it was pretty common, actually, with the first edition uh, jungle cards. So not too rare for misprint, but it's still kind of fun. <clears throat> okay, uh, Parasect, Bellsprout, Venonet, Execute, Pokeball, Rhyhorn, Jigglypuff, Weeping Bell, Sea King, Lickitung, and Vileplume. So this is definitely the first Vileplume I've gotten, so that's kind of fun. <clears throat> if I remember correctly, some of the Vileplume cards, I think the holographics, maybe not the first edition ones, have a misprint where the weakness is listed as maybe fighting type instead of fire. Um, although, now that I think about it, I might be confusing that with uh, the Vileplume from the Team Rocket set. Okay, next pack. Okay. Nadaran Female, 
Bellsprout, Paris, Pokeball, Sparrow, Meowth, Goldeen, Persian, Butterfree, Lickitung, and non-holographic Clefable. Okay, I'm down to what I think is just three packs left. So, still holding out for a few more holographics. I think Clefable, Pinsir, and Scyther. All of those at least I'm missing. I, I'm sure there's some more that I haven't thought of, but um, like I said, Scyther's the one I personally enjoy the most, but not a big deal either way. Okay, Pokeball, Eevee, Bellsprout, Goldeen, Meowth, Mankey, Jigglypuff, Weeping Bell, Sea King, Night Arena, and a holographic Venomoth. I think my battery is running a little low on this camera, so I'm going to hopefully get through these last couple packs before it shuts down on me. We'll see what happens. Well, I guess you guys won't see if it shuts down, but I will. Venonet, Nighter and Female, Mankey, Execute, Jigglypuff, Cubone, Paris, Dodrio, Parasect, Persian, and a non-holographic Clefable. Okay, so this is my last pack. So, uh, except for the three I set aside at the beginning. So we're gonna see if there's a holographic in this last one. Always a nice way to end it. Three. Doesn't feel like a holographic, but we'll see. Paris, Spiro, Goldeen, Pikachu, Bellsprout, Rhyhorn, Jigglypuff, Butterfree, Weeping Bell, Firo, and a non-holographic Vaporeon. So, out of, I guess, the 36 packs I got, I opened up 33 of them, and I pulled, let's see, going back to the hollows, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, like I said, about a one and three, one and three pack should have holographic, is what I've heard, and I ended up with um, about one and three. So, not too bad. Notice my Optimus Prime back there just slipped. But anyway, um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely comment and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything I can do to make future videos a little bit better. And um, I look forward to hearing back some feedback. Thank you.